Well, Alpal just uh, got back from the P.O. box, which I went to four days ago, and said that I need to come upstairs and see what I got myself into. <laughs> Let's go check it out. We got the full crew today. It's the day that Matt's here, so all four of us are hanging, and apparently we all need to come up and grab these packages. <laughs> Let's go check it out. We're not bringing them down. Oh, boy. We need a barn. Can't yeah. they just finish out there? Sweet mercy. Yeah. Got delayed two weeks, guys. I'm very sad. What? what? <laughs> this was not just the post office, but the UPS guy was just here. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's not coming down. <laughs> oh, my God. You talk about the buy list one time. <laughs> this is what Y'all showed up. Well, thank you guys. Everybody that sent us stuff, but sweet mercy, we have some work to it's do. It's still coming in, too. Matt? It's a lot. Can you start working 40 hours instead of 20? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, cool. <laughs> Maybe we look at our list and see what exactly people <clears throat> started sending in. Yep. I think we're going to find out here pretty soon. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the... the... Flea market guy. Is yeah, so I know that seven of these packages are from one one person. He cleared out his flea market inventory. Um, yeah, but I was here because you know some of those packages. Are some of those are like pounds. seventy pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Caution, yeah. fragile. Was probably all those ones. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Well, so let's get to work. So we have a garage full of packages. We have Alpal has to ship all day. Sky guy. Probably has to help me today. We've been putting out a lot of content, but we got a lot of stuff to process through. So today, we're gonna get to all, try to get to like most of those packages, especially starting with the small ones. So I just opened one up here, and this is just a classic bundlers. So these are, you know, the most popular thing on my buy list that gets sent in: Wii Sports, Mario Kart, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and Wii Sports Resort. Um, Resort being the one that I would want the most right now. Uh, so. Basically going to process through these, verify the contents, get everybody paid that has sent stuff. And we've got some pretty good stuff to unbox today, so it's going to be a fun one. Now this box right here, I think, is pretty special. I can feel like I'm paying like a thousand plus dollars for this one. Oh. If, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, I, see, I see a box game. I do too. Oh. I think there's one really special box game in here. I'm hoping. That's pretty special. And the one to the left of it is even better. I, I don't even, know if you can tell what it no, is yet. Okay. Let's do one by one. I'll yeah, cover that, it. That's a gem. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we got the Kmart version of Metroid Prime GameCube. With the Wavebird controller included? Look at that. Look at that. Hey, we got it completed. It just, wow. Matt oh. unveiled that and it looks great. Yeah, you need to do all of your controllers. That was... Wow. I yeah, love it. It looks great. Metroid Prime uh, Echoes 2. Uh, so basically all the... Bless you. <laughs> basically all the Metroid games. Nice. Metroid 3, other M. Those are pretty cheap, but the GameCube ones are pretty expensive. Both Star Fox games on GameCube. Nicely packaged. Thank you. Scott, thank you for this one. Star Fox for Wii U. So it came with Guard and the game, for those that didn't know. It came in this big box. So maybe that's like a sealed one in addition to the opened one. Then we've got uh, Metroid, Samus Returns, and NES with the manual. It's every Metroid game. Yeah, right. like all of them. Just missing SNES, and, and there's a lot of other ones. But Transformers Devastation Mighty Number no. 9. And these were kind of just like throw-ins with the quality of the rest of this. Oh, there's some great Pokemon cards too. <gasps> Ooh. Uh-huh. All right. Let's, let's do these ones. So we've got GoldenEye 007. I'm pretty sure all of these are complete. Uh, he sent pictures of all of them unboxed. We've got Banjo-Kazooie. N64. That's fun to see. We're heating up. Next, we have Mario 64. That's a great these shape. Are, yeah, these are nice. Let's open open this up. Uh, Mario 64. <laughs> Gosh, I love that. That's so nostalgic for me. Whoa, that one is a great shape. Look at the edges. Yeah, that's real clean. Real clean. I like that. Shoot. I'm hoping the next two are real clean because the next one is Conker's Bad Fur Day. My goodness. Which is, that's like a $130 cartridge. 
these days. Complete. We, we had a sealed one for a little bit. We did. I think it only sold for like 600 bucks. Okay. So it's amazing that like uh, used complete is probably like, I don't know. Close to that. 350, 400 maybe. <laughs> I haven't looked in a while. It could be, give or take a hundred bucks. Um, Extra bubble wrap on these. Sweet mercy. Yeah. That's good. So we got we got to thank look you at for this shipping one. with care yeah definitely appreciate that we'll reuse all this bubble wrap today yep <laughs> we absolutely will we always reuse everything that gets shipped to us oh wait is that if we can. no so this oh. this one he mentioned like it still has the seal on it it was just like sliced open okay uh, which i love because the box is going to be glossy so when that happens normally as long as the box is in good shape you can still charge the upper end of oh. comps are much higher because the condition yep. is still nice it's not sealed but so we had a in our last whatnot auction we had a chrono trigger it was complete in box with everything great condition those typically go for seven to eight hundred dollars and this one i knew if we put it on ebay we could probably get 1200 bucks i put it up for a thousand on whatnot it didn't get bids because I started the bid at a thousand, but then the right buyer came along and said, oh shoot, did you already do Chrono Trigger? I said, no, I'll take a thousand for it, put it in buy it now, and it sold immediately. Mm -hmm. We had some some people kind of doubting that that, like that's not what market's at. I'm like, high-end collectors are looking for the right one, so. Otherwise they wouldn't have bought that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it sold, and I think it would have sold for 1200 on eBay because of the condition and the completeness. So the point I'm making is, if you have something special and it's in great condition, Put a higher price on it because you will get it. My my sell through rate on eBay is like over 100% usually in a 90 day period. So over 1% a day. And I price everything really, really high um, and usually get it, you know, if it's really nice stuff. So it's just something I've learned through experience. Like if you're, if you're pricing really high end games that are in great condition and you price them at market, at the typical kind of going bid market rate, it'll sell in like two minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's great, uh, but you might have that little lingering doubt of, oh man, I could have gotten like way more. And yes, you probably could. I've learned that that lesson the hard way so many times, so I'm just trying to... <laughs> Everybody in the Discord is like, oh, this sold in 30 seconds. Should yeah. I, what should like, I have priced what, it What at? did I do wrong? Yeah. And it's like, great, you made your money, and that's awesome. Just take take your lesson you know take the slow dime next time instead of the extremely fast nickel uh <laughs> i like that and uh all right so what is this is this is oh. it, this is it this gotta be oh my pocky and rocky this is like a grail piece for me this is going in the collection Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm hoping I can sell off the rest of this. Ex and... Explain the significance of this game. So this game, this was the first game that I got like in my collection early on that helped me realize that there's some crazy value in retro games. This one, Mega Man X3, a buddy of mine sold me his SNES collection and I was looking him up. Had no idea. I was like, Pocky and Rocky, what the heck is that? It was worth probably at the time in like 2012. It was probably worth like a hundred bucks for the cartridge. And that, well, maybe 80, 50, I don't know. It blew my mind nonetheless, because I'd never heard of it. And my buddy and I, we we 100% of this game, played through it co-op together. It's actually very <laughs> fun and it's quite uncommon. So to find this complete is probably seven, 800 bucks, I think. Wow. But it's got the poster. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the manual is so clean. The cartridge is so clean. Now, the Pocky and Rocky is one of the first games that you kept from that original buy so you'll probably yep. have this as a duplicate i will okay i have the cartridge it was not complete so probably that's keep a this big one big difference yep i'm gonna keep this one complete and i will be selling the cartridge probably on a future whatnot auction oh okay i meant yep. like keep two of them have like your very no. first one and then have this separate as a that's yeah cool. i mean i i'm not that attached to it i'm keeping the first uh Mega Man x3 mm -hmm. uh that we got in episode one of, that's cool yeah of caterpie my brother actually had that in his collection because I he wanted it, but he didn't want it anymore. So I'm like, well, we're, I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> uh, and then this is a collector's edition of Monster Hunter uh, 3. Comes with something. Oh, yeah, it comes with a, a Black Pro we Classic Controller Pro. That is such a dumb name. Nintendo, get better <laughs> at naming stuff. Get it better. And then these Pokemon cards, I'll, I'll have to rip these open and show you guys in a sec. Well, the Pokemon cards weren't really anything special. They must have just been throw-ins. The... Celebrations, Pikachu, and Rayquaza. 
and then a CGC 8 of a card that should not have been graded. So that's it for this buy. I think it was around like a thousand bucks total. Might have been 1100, but I'm gonna make sure everything's good and then get Scott paid and move on to the next package. A few more packages we just brought down. This one I think is bundlers. So just a classic, probably wheeze is normally what we get. Looks like they did leave a note, which always guys, if you leave a note, we can process it a lot quicker. Uh, I think it's just supposed Make to be it like- very obvious too. Don't do a little sticky note randomly yep. inside of one of the books. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it looks like just two good old classic wee bundles right here. So that will be easy and quick to process with the note. This one I think is a price charting collection. So we agreed to a deal for $761. This is from Wayne. And I don't remember exactly what the items were. I just checked my, my spreadsheet. And there's a nice one. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Parasite Ooh. Eve? Parasite Eve is a nice one as well. I don't know what that is. I gotta get some scissors. Parasite Eve is a PS1 game that has some pretty good value. You've probably oh, seen it before. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Squaresoft. Missing the manual, but good condition otherwise. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's a very notable one. And, probably $150 game. There's Hook on NES, TMNT. Breath of Fire 4. Fire 4, another nice one. So RPGs on PS1, always be on the lookout for those. They very consistently have solid value. It's funny that Final Fantasies are probably some of the least valuable ones on the system as far as RPGs go. But we do have some of those. This is a sealed DS game, Princess Isabella. Um, more PS1 games. I like the layers of packaging here. Oh yeah, and then the Sega Genesis games I'm remembering were pretty nice ones. Here's Robocop vs. Terminator. Uh, Dragon's Revenge. What's the matter? That's, that's a good one. So basically we work this out. Uh, the, the seller, to me, gets everything documented in price charting. And then we work a deal based off of that. Usually about half of the price charting value is where I come in at. Dragon's Revenge has some pretty solid value. Then there's Zero Tolerance, and this one is Dragon's something or other. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just, they all look like just bubble wrap. <laughs> yes. F-Zero GX for GameCube is going to be in there. Tales of Symphonia. Beach Spikers. Love GameCube. Oh, the greatest hockey game ever. NHL Hits 2003. That's the World Cup vs. Terminator one. More GameCube. Packing Wayne. This, this is quality. There's dot hack. That's a good one. This is gonna be some good Amazon stuff, some good whatnot stuff. Dark Cloud. The Final Fantasies on PS2 have almost no value. So that was box one. And there is a second box. Just Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Comes with Cheetos. Oh boy. Are you going? <laughs> All right, I'm pretty full. Thank okay. you. Though. Oh gosh. Uh, Nasty. <laughs> yes, Spice I'm Orange. Thinking. GameCube Glory. Love that controller. Uh, Rumble Pack. Some Game Boy games. We got in here. And now, pal, I'm going to have more packing materials for you. Including some... These ones are the biodegradable ones. <laughs> They're like the water dissolving ones. Yoshi's Island. Is that? Uh, TMNT. Back from the sewers. You don't see that one very often. TMNT 2 on Game Boy. It's probably got decent value. Uh, Mario Party for 3DS. And then the Rumble Packs, which those, those sell pretty good on Amazon about... 18 bucks after fees or something like that. It's just like a whole, is this a case? Yep. Case full of disc only games. Let's see what's in here. 
Ooh, another Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's a good one. What's that? It's PlayStation like a magazine. Magazine disc, yep. Final Fantasy VII. Parasite, Parasite Eve. I wonder if these are just the discs for the games. Maybe not, though. Mega Man 8. Nightmare Creatures is a good one. Croc 2, Rampage. Sim City, Bushido Blade, Crash Bandicoot. Tekken 3, Bust Move 99. Oh, okay. nice little case of games there. This is a retro box. Super Tennis, okay. I mean, there's got to be some uh, some pretty solid stuff for me to pay 761. Turok Rage Wars is decent. Uh, dual pack for PSP. And we got games, guys. There's games in here. Games, 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 games. Mario's missing. Yoshi Safari. Speedy Gonzalez. Los Gatos Bandidos. Bandidos. That's oh. the best. Championship Karate. Zool. Mario Paint. And there's more games. Okay, let's get rid of all this and we'll do a new clip. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, I like what I see here. Two Mario Worlds. Mario All-Stars slash Super Mario World on one cart. One of the greatest values in gaming of all time. Really? Yes, absolutely. Oh, values in... Okay, I'm just saying, saying, yeah, like, bang for the buck right there. And I'm going to unbox these at the end. Okay. And these as well, and we'll show you guys here. But we do right, have fine. Mario Kart 64 and NFL Blitz. Okay. What are we going to put strong with these four? Oh, look at Oh, no, I dropped it. Oh, look at it. It looks like a Cheeto puff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one. Oh, it's two SNES games. Rock and Roll Racing. Okay. And Wacky Sports Challenge, Tiny Tune Adventures. Okay. Pretty uncommon games there. Huh. And I guess two more SNES games. Yep, Virtual oh. Bart. <laughs> and that's funny. Kind of random the ones they decided to put in these. Uh, yeah, Yoshi's Island. Huh. And then these two. I got to be careful. I think these are two of the best games in the entire collection. Yeah, I have no idea. You haven't seen any of this stuff. No. <laughs> Kirby's Dream Land 3. Okay. That's a big bolo, over $100 cartridge, I think. That's in great shape. It's in good condition. It's got a little tear right there. And this one... Is that, that you don't see you from the Ren and Stimpy. Um, what does that say? Buckaroos. Usually Ren you see like Stimpy show or whatever. Yeah. You don't see that one very often, so that one's pretty uncommon and carries good value in that condition. I paid seven hundred sixty-one dollars. That means the value is probably right around fifteen hundred. But we got to put in the work to sell everything individually, so win-win kind of deal. I gotta get to selling, but we do still have two more boxes to, to get to. And then there's still all of the consoles out in the garage, but we'll get to those probably another day, though we might take a quick peek at the end. Next box. Next box up. There's a note at the top. The notes are pretty strong today. Ooh, total payout, 800. This is the Mario Kart It's Skylar Kart Racing. One. Skylar Racing, let's go. What up? I told you guys I was getting literally 34 Mario Karts in one package. Jeez. Shout out to Skylar, Ra Skylar Racing. Very excited about that. Big on whatnot, too. Yes. $800 for a box full of Mario Karts. I definitely live a weird life. Follow them over there. It's not me. It Some is not this asked. Skylar. It is different. <laughs> so that is very helpful because uh, they Matt and Alpal literally just noted that we need Mario Karts to be able to send out a bunch of our tested Wii's. So here you go. Wow, I got him. That's crazy. <laughs> 34. So here's one of those massive boxes, six of seven, all from Peter. Uh, he sent me these flea market seller. Takes great care. He, he said that everything would be cleaned, cleaned up in really good condition. He would know if it's tested and reset, which all of these Wii's were. There's 19 Wii's in here, 16 white, three black, 31 white remotes, four black remotes, 21 white nunchucks, two black nunchucks, and then however many that is for steering, six steering wheels. Um, and that's all in this box, so that had to be like a 70 pounder. And then this next box, 
just got unboxed, and this is all controllers and cables for Xbox Original. Looks like Xbox One there. Connect. So that's the smallest box that he sent, and he has uh, five others in addition to these. And the other five are all about this big. So looks like we're going to have some Xboxes. Nolan, good luck. <laughs> Thanks for helping. Uh, he's kind of just verifying, making sure everything's good. We nearly have everything processed except for this massive buy here, which is going to take a little bit of time, but not bad. So there was actually a comment on a recent video where someone was like, yeah, that's great and all, but who's Nolan? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes. We never introduced it. This is my brother-in-law, um, right. and it's Nolan. He's been helping out for a couple of months on and I, off just here and there. I like, worked a week in February, and... I start coming back. <laughs> yeah, so so pretty much, Nolan, you work a landscaping job typically. Yeah. And occasionally, if there's nothing going on or if it's raining or something, he'll just be like, hey, I can come over. And I'll yeah. be like, great, please come over. Uh, you're 18? Yes. 18, yeah. So. It's not child labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, def definitely appreciate the help. Uh, he's been testing consoles. He just set up some rolling stairs out in the garage this morning. Oh, yes. Those are going to go out in the barn once it's finished. Um, so he's been very helpful. Thank you, Nolan, for being here. That's Nolan, everybody. We'll hit a like for Nolan. Yes. <laughs> All right. Opening up this one, 75 pounds. Nolan's a tank and just brought it down. That's the other thing I'm looking forward to at the barn. No. No more. I'm, I mean, there's no there's stairs upstairs, but wait. we won't be using them as much yes. for shipping stuff, at least. Oh no wonder it's Xbox stuff. And oh, bubbles. Let's yeah, go. Baby. Okay, what's our Mario Kart count for the day? <laughs> Gosh, that's going to be like 50. <laughs> <laughs> that's so many. I paid 25 for complete Mario Kart. Yeah. So I think that's why people are sending them to me. By the dozen. Yeah. That, there's a lot there. Is this we got we got Wii's in here too. More Wii's? No wonder. Oh, Wii manuals. Sweet mercy, those are heavy. And like these things, we just throw yeah. these in. They don't really yeah, they're, have I don't value. say they're included, but I'll throw them in if I have them. And then PS2s. PS2s. Okay, so it's a a few rows of PS2s down there. Xbox controller. So, Nolan, you're taking inventory, and yes. is now a good time to maybe test out the, mm -hmm. well, I don't know, testing these controllers. We have a controller tester, but for these, you can plug them in to the computer. Or there's like an app, apparently. I don't know. Okay. I, haven't, I haven't used it yet, but if you've used it, let us know. I know that Matt, our repair guy, mm -hmm. has used it before on his personal controllers. But I don't know if it works on like 360. It's like Bluetooth enabled. You know? Oh yeah. Um, we'll have to try it out, but we have one, a tester that works for um, wired controllers. So all the PS2 ones and those, we, you can test that way. But. Cool. That's about that. We got a lot of work to do. Okay, well this one was 77 pounds, crazy heavy. I'm Chase, guessing 360s. Chase carried that down all by himself. You better believe it. There's the Xbox. Okay, so we got like some Xbox Ones in there. Probably a mix of things. This is the last uh, like regular non seven box shipment. So we're gonna try to process this one first and then we're getting to Peter's full shipment. I'm gonna guess this is like, is it heavy? Ooh. Oh, what is this? Okay, hey probably buy list items. Hey guys, the shows are great. Keep it up. I watched your show yesterday and reached out to you about your buy list spreadsheet. Who did a list of uh what's included in oh yeah i value. remember this one some prices uh included cases and instructions or vice versa as you will see everything has been tested and is clean also saw your pokemon pursuit video so i added something you may or may not have Ooh. i have many other items you might be interested in wink face in the oh view. shoot uh high-end games my vintage pokemon set, yes jungle rocket and so on yes we That's want good. it uh check out my ebay um, store if you have a chance yeah did, is there a name on there uh, yeah, this is uh, Nostalgic Collections, Inc. on eBay. Nostalgic Collections, Inc. Yep. Reach out to me. I'm definitely interested in the Pokemon. But they left a great list. This is an example of a wonderful way to do it. Itemized, the amount, the price that I pay, and the total. I mean, that is going to make mm -hmm. this way easier for us. We just got to confirm that yeah. things work real and then quick. All of the contact information. So yeah. email, PayPal. phone number, and PayPal. So And where, where you reached out to me and yes. what that information is. Yep. And then the grand Great total note. again right on here. So 720 for all this. 720 will most likely be sent with how well this is packed and how organized this is. I'm almost oh certain everything goodness. will work and be in good condition. Thank you so much to everybody. 
that has used that Bilas and Senna stuff. You're helping me pay for my children's food, <laughs> the barn. You're helping Nolan pay for his children's food. <laughs> You're my, helping Sky Guy get that eBay food. sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. The Nolan doesn't have children, okay? <laughs> Sky Guy doesn't currently have children. Not currently. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a lot of unbubble wrapping to do here. That's a fun word. Uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm buying Mario 2 and 3. Please send me as many of those as you have. Yes, Mario Please. 2 and 3. I'm paying you... pretty well for them, about what you get after fees on eBay. Is More for Mario 2 over $18, Mario $18, I think, for Mario 2 yeah, and 15, 15 for Mario 3. 3. PS2. Cool. Well, we'll yep. get all and this I buy right PS2 now. Slims. I buy GameCubes. I buy handhelds. And this person sent me all of that stuff. Is this the biggest haul we've had? Oh, it's by far the biggest like, haul we've ever had. And I'm a little scared what will happen next week. <laughs> yeah. So we're really trying to get through this stuff so we can be ready for more stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Nolan, for your help once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I have the controller tester over here. We've shown this before. I just want to show you how cool this is. So this is like a little modular like thing. So you have this controller tester. Controller tester, no controller. You take whatever little module you have. We have the N64 one, and we have the Wii accessory one, so you can see all that just plugs right into the bottom boink detects hey this is an n64 press a button so all i have to do is plug in a controller and then this also tests all the drift so right now it's set to like zero zero you can test all the extremes it gives you the x and y axis wow. and literally every button you press at start b a or c sorry a and then just every single one to Z and all the left, right, up, down. It's R and L. Yeah, and then R, L. There we go. You're done. So that one works. And guys, we, we had a whole bin of controllers, N64 controllers that did not work for various reasons. Yeah. And this thing detected every single one of them accurately. We had sticky notes on them to say A button doesn't work, Z button doesn't work. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, so it is super It solid. works well. And this is, you know, what? These people don't even know I exist, don't have an affiliate link or anything, but consoles for you. It's from overseas, so it takes a long time to ship, but oh my gosh, it, was like, up, it was like 300 or 400 This bucks. detects the gyroscope, is what oh, wow. all these are, so LX. I wondered, I wondered what that was. It's like so, this thing is always moving. So the R, maybe that's, so that one's not moving. I think normally it is. That might concern me a little bit. I don't know, maybe, maybe just to troubleshoot or to we'll double find check a variable it. we'll check it but and then yeah once again x and y detects the joystick it picks up z picks up c and it's yeah, done. I, don't, I don't think r actually moves typically yeah but maybe we'll, you're we'll right. try it I with forget. one other nunchuck and see if that's oh it's anything. a gyroscope so what it's doing actually it's detecting x y and z values it's just using l as the z value oh yeah so that's the okay so it's perfect <laughs> there you go math <laughs> All right, so I just tested these two. They worked fine. Okay. But this one, I plug it in. Look what happens. Oh, never mind. I guess it's working again. <laughs> a button, Z button. <laughs> never mind. Is it not plugged in all the way or something? I, I don't know. I just unplugged it and replugged it back in. But so maybe it just wasn't. I didn't plug it in all the way. Never mind. I thought I was going to show you it working. <laughs> working or not but, working? Yeah. Yeah. But I guess these are all good to go now. Okay. Like one minute. So these are good. Uh, we've been testing like crazy, getting things. We've had one Wii remote that doesn't work, one PS2 controller that doesn't work. Um, I'll just have to send them a message to, you know, kind of verify what we need to do from there. Uh, everything needs a little bit of cleaning, not too bad. And then Nolan is on the third Wii right now. It is currently having an error. Error. Error, error occurred. That's probably a disc error. Usually it's it a disc read error. Just, it's, it goes to this when it like reads the disc. Okay, so let's try a different disc. So even though that one has worked on the other systems, we'll try a different one. Because it could be. I don't know. Let's see. Let's fully reset it and we'll see what happens. Uh, Game Boy Color worked. We have two N64s, two PS2s to get to. And other than that, we're rocking and rolling. Well, that's pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, we have all of these yet to go, though this box has been processed. The bundlers are pretty quick and easy to process. Let us, know, much uh, more. let us know if you like this video, just a giant haul. We get stuff pretty much every day. Every day. Uh, but we stop there once a week. Yes. So we stop so, at the peel box once a week. Yeah. A lot of people ask how and where we're going to sell this stuff once we get it. 
almost all of the systems are going to Amazon FBA. That's fulfillment by Amazon. We have videos on this channel about that. So check those out if you wanna see uh, more details on how we sell them. That's kind of why we're able to pay more and why people sell us a lot of this stuff because we, pr we pay pretty well on the uh, systems and now, you know, games, bundler games, um, some controllers and extras are on there, handhelds. It's cool to see that we're getting it. It's the first time I've added it to the buy list. Uh, so send me some stuff. If you want to sell me some stuff, check out the buy list, follow the instructions, make sure to leave detailed notes. We'll have all of the instructions on the top of the buy list. Uh, let us know if you like this kind of video. And until next time, Bartle do. Chip, chippy dippy.